And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount it on the hook shank. And I take it out of the vise to do this. I'm going to set up a piece of, uh, of all things, silly putty to hold it in place while I do this. <laughs> Another use for silly putty that you played with as a kid. And, uh, and all it does is it just allows me to have a place to, to mount that or set that. We're going to finish the prepping of the hook by squeezing out some of this tough fly. And what's nice about this, with epoxy, you would just have to mix a batch and guess how much you needed. Tough fly, you can just shoot it out of the syringe just the amount that you need. And I'll warn you, these syringes are they're pretty tough to push. You're pushing a thick material through here, and uh, it's an acrylic base. It's, it's an acrylic material. It's not a glue. That's why I have to have the thread base on here to attach it to the hook. It gives it something to grab a hold of. And I'm making sure that on the top part of the hook, which will be the inside of the fly, has the most of the material. And I'll let it sit here. As you can see, it it, it doesn't run. It doesn't really drip. It, it it'll move just a little bit. You can drag it around with your your bodkin if you need to. I was just making sure I had that out of the eye of the hook. And uh, after it settles here for just a second, we're going to mount it on the body of the fly. Now that we've got the hook out of the vise and we've got it coated with tough fly, we're going to come down and we're going to line this up in the center of the fly, or of the, the spoon body. If you let it just sit there by itself, it will lean over. But if you watch it while you're doing this, and you come in with the light and you get up close and just sort of hold that hook where you set it, it'll start setting up in about 20 seconds. And at that point you can let go of the hook and you can come in from both sides and, and dry it. And uh, this part's critical because if you want the, the, the hook to hang straight down from the body of the spoon, you just need to pay attention to it so that it doesn't lean over on you and, and start to tip. And as you can see, it's starting to set up on its own now. I'm going to come in on both sides like I'm doing and shine the light on it. Um, this is a blue light. It's not a UV light, so you can look down here while you're working. I prefer to look through the shield that they provide just as an added piece of you know, safety. Um, some tires don't use it, but, but I prefer to use it. And you, know, you can see through here. You can see that it's really starting to set up. And the key is getting this light as close as possible to the piece that you're welding in. And, and if you're looking at this, the, the bead line or the weld line is right along here. And that's why I coated that hook with, with Tough Fly. And when you sit here and work with it, you can dry it. What's nice about Tough Fly is you can go through and you can work with it. If you have a depression or if you have a spot you want to change a little bit, you can just add some more Tough Fly. Where epoxy, you can't do that. Tough Fly, you can just come in and add another piece on it and smooth it out or, or, or as I'm doing here, weld another piece into it. And if this were to break off, you could make another body and weld another one on the same hook. Okay. I'm going to put this back in the vise now. Okay, I'm going to use the second part of the uh, tough fly, which is the finish, to come in and work over the top of this to, to make sure that it's, it's uh, firm enough. And, and I'm just going to work some of the material you know, over some of the top of this spoon. We're just going to put it on the top. We don't want to add too much weight or anything to this thing. And uh, so I've got some on there. Pull the plunger back, and I'm just going to work it around with my biking. You can let this settle somewhat. The finish is very fluid compared to the core, but I'm going to pull it around. I'm going to drag it out to the edges and make sure that I touch all of the edges so that when we cure this coat, it's, it's dry the way that we want it to be. Okay, what I've done is I've just I've made sure that we covered the entire top of this spoon all the way out to the edges with this, this finished coat. And this finished coat will dry clear, it will dry hard, 
and it'll take the flexibility out of the spoon. Right now it's still just a little bit flexible. And so we'll come in and just like we did before, we'll get up here and we'll dry this. What I'm doing when I'm drying is I, I hold it in one area for about 20 seconds or so. And then I'll move back a little ways and I'll dry it again for about 20 seconds and I'll work through there. If you move the light around too much and, and you don't stay in one spot for a few minutes, for a few seconds I should say, and you don't stay as close as you can, it has a tendency to dry slower. So just stay where you need to stay, which is close to the fly. Continue to, to work it real slowly and you'll end up with a product that's dried properly. And this one, this one's dried firm like it's supposed to. And you can see that that's, that's the basic fly right there. The last step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe it off with the alcohol wipe again to get the tacky residue off. And I'm gonna coat it with a coat of Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. And that just seals it in a little better and it, it will make the, the, the shine come through much, much, much better. And you end up with that real reflective color that you need when you're throwing a spoon. What's nice about these is they're small enough and light enough that you can throw them on a six weight. You can see that it's, it's cupped on the inside so that it gives it the spinning motion. Uh, you've got a little bit of a red color in it to help attract. Uh, you've got the rabbit strip on the back that will act like a, something that will give it some motion when it's laying on the bottom. If you stop it in front of a fish, this will still wiggle. And that's the completed Tough Fly Spoon.